So we've got our first item on the road to Tenji. Let's get into it. Seems packed quite well. So. That's a right, I guess. That's a few plugs. Nice. Okay, so we'll just have a look. Uh, this is... A... HW. What we? I don't think so. Yeah, SAP 10G copper 3 meters. Passive cable. SAP plus. Right, so these are decks. Relatively simple. Yep, uh, that looks like it's the same. Huh? Okay, uh, hopefully it is 3 meters. It looks right. Yep, not that. Let's that off. Let's see what it says in the cable. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, a one six four six one eight. No clue what that means. Type C O. To four feet, twenty eight gauge, fifty seven to seventy five degrees of fifty seven, eighty degrees, three hundred feet. Maybe I have no clue what any of this means. The C cable. Okay, but all in all, looks to be fine. We'll test it out once the once the cards reach. But so far, so good. Yeah, it's, it's definitely more than long enough for what I need. So, okay, I am for now satisfied with it. Uh, yeah, let's wait for my next to reach and then we'll test it out. Okay, uh, I'll be back when next reach. Here are the 10 switches that I've ordered. Let's just have a look at one. Pretty small. Pretty small. So comes with a full height bracket. What I need. So let's get it out of there. Give it a box. So there we go, right? Mm, just zoom right in. Okay, so this is a CX3 uh, on an X3 gen uh, 10 gig switch. So SFP plus. Okay, 4X uh, PCIU by 4. Uh, let's get it. Let's get them into. Okay, so plug it in, close it up, and let's put it up the side. And let's 
go. So now I do 45, plug it in, then GDAC, SFP Plus. Plug it in. Get that click. Okay, and then let's get a power. So, power our cable. Plug it in. And we're good. Card is in there. Let's plug this in. jump into the system. Okay, so now we are in the Windows machine. Uh, driver is installed. First we're going to check that uh, we need the RG45 to make sure that we still have a way in. So, okay. So, Trunas is up. This is with the one gig interface. So, now we're going to go to network settings, digital to options, we have some Mellanox, go to properties, IPv4, change to static. I'm going to give it 1 into 168.99.2, uh, 255, 252, default gateway, leave it blank, DNS, okay, okay, and we are good here. Okay, log in to TrueNAS, go to the server, put in your IP, I'm going to go 99.1 slash 30. Hit apply and hit save. Okay, now to test the connection, so we're gonna use iperf and we've got not a lot. Two for a while, let's run it again. And we've got a gig. Scrolling. Yep, we got a gig. Let's run it again. Nine. And there we go. Thank you. Close enough. Okay. That's how you get 10 gig, I hope. Thanks for watching.